Well, Miami was not really a test for the Cowboys, more of a showcase for Sanders, Gundy, and Dykes. The next week would be more telling. The Texas Aggies came into Stillwater two weeks after Miami, September 24th, 1988. Oklahoma State took the field sporting their new all-orange uniforms. It was perfect football weather, 66 degrees. Aggies won the toss, deferred, and OSU took the ball. It took only three plays for Barry Sanders to light the scoreboard. 58 yards, and nobody was even close. Kerry Blanchard kicked off for the Cowboys. It goes down to the Texas A&M four. It's a return of 18 yards up to the 22. The ball is fumbled. Bobby Rayner falls on the ball for the Pokes. Mike Gundy back to pass. It goes to Dykes who makes a great catch between two Aggie defenders at the two. Mitch Nash gets those two and another touchdown for Oklahoma State. The Aggies have yet to run a play from scrimmage and are down 14 to nothing. They decide to go for broke with a fourth and two from the Cowboy 48. A loss of five fumble and Brandon Colbert gets the loose ball. Gundy goes back to the air. This one good for 21 to Dykes who makes a great one-handed catch. Four plays later, it's Kerry Blanchard with a 39-yard field goal. And it's 17 to nothing. Cowboys. First quarter ends 17-7. First play now of the second quarter. The Aggies bounce off Sanders three times in four yards. Touchdown and the Cowboys lead 24-7. The Aggies try again. They complete this pass for five yards but fumble and Sim Drain the third is there. Cowboys ball at the 33. Gundy ate up all 33 of those yards with this pass to Dykes for the score. It's an OSU route. The score, 31 to 7. Cowboys next possession from the OSU 42. The give is to Sanders. He goes for 24 yards before Thomas makes a touchdown saving open field tackle. Next play, Gundy to throw. Dykes is clear. Play goes to the one. Again, Thomas saves the touchdown. So Gundy decides to do it himself. Keeper up and over. Cowboys 38, Aggies 7 at the half. Third quarter now. Defense lights the Lewis Field scoreboard. Rod Smith in perfect position, 73-yard interception return for the touchdown to make it 45 to 15. And the final score for the Cowboys came on the final play of the third quarter. The Aggies punt. Barry Sanders is waiting, and it's off to the races. 61 yards for a score. And afterward, Coach Pat Jones said he wasn't sure anyone, anywhere, could tackle Sanders. He's one of the more explosive players in the country. I mean, this is not a fluke. You know, when you do it to certain levels of play, you accept the fact, hey, they cannot good enough tackle. I mean, they've got quality athletes at A&M, and they couldn't tackle the 52-15 final was an eye-opener, not only for the pollsters, but also for the Heisman Trophy winners, who began to take Barry Sanders seriously. Cowboys 2-2 two two on the young 1988 season. Against the Aggies, Barry Sanders again went over 100 yards. On the season, 38 carries for 335 yards, and he has scored six touchdowns. Mike Gundy hit nearly 70% of his passes for 143 yards, and on the season, he is 23 of 32 for 389 yards and three touchdowns with one interception. Hartley Dykes with five catches ran his season total to 13 receptions for 297 yards and two scores.